Hello everyone and welcome back to my Premier League score predictions. We are up to game week 16 now and well last week there were a few unexpected results, quite some high score lines in the end. So you know let's see what I think can happen this week and let's just get straight into it with the first game being played at the Hetihad, which is Manchester City against Brentford. Manchester City in their last game just narrowly scraped a 2-1 victory over Fulham. Of course, Cancelo did get that red card and gave away the penalty, um, which you know made it 1-1 in that game. And then it went down right to the wire where Erling Haaland stepped up from the penalty spot in the fifth minute of injury time to seal all three points for the citizens. In this game, I think it'll be a bit more comfortable for Manchester City. I know they've got the red card to Cancelo, but a team like City, they're prepared for, for situations like that. And I'm going to go for a high scoreline. I'm going to go 4-0 Manchester City victory. Brentford in their last game, they picked up a 2-2 draw against Nottingham Forest. Quite a few penalty shouts in that game. Um, Brentford ending, uh, ended up getting their penalty, which... I will admit, I thought it was quite soft and Nottingham Forest didn't get any one of their three penalty shouts that they did have. Um, yeah, Nottingham Forest with that that last minute equaliser as well in that game, but we'll come on to them in just a moment's time. But yeah, coming to, coming to the Etihad in this one, I don't think Brentford will be able to score and I think they're in for a hard afternoon. So yeah, 4-0 Man City victory. Now we can move on to the Vitality Stadium where it is Bournemouth against Everton. Bournemouth once again lost um, when they were in such a comfortable winning position. Just about two weeks ago, they were 2-0 up against Tottenham, ending up lo losing that one 3-2. And then in their last game, they were 3-1 up against Leeds United, ended up losing it 4-3. Bournemouth always two goals to the good and end up losing it. Coming up against Everton's side though, especially at home as well, Everton... They haven't scored in their last two games. They did pick up a 2-0 defeat against Leicester City in their last game. I am going to back them to score one in this game, though, but I do think it will be a home victory, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to Bournemouth in this one to finally end their, their four defeats um, in a row. OK, we'll move on now to Anfield, where their opponent, Southampton, lost. I say lost, probably say smashed. 4-1 by Newcastle, ended up in the sacking of Hassan Hootel and, well, currently at the moment at the time of recording, talks with Luton Town's Nathan Jones are ongoing, which, you know, will be pretty interesting to see. Of course, they do say a new manager bounce, but at Anfield against Liverpool, we'll talk about a new manager bounce with Aston Villa and Unai Emery in just a moment's time, but I don't think it's going to work in this game and I am going to go Four, maybe a bit too high scoreline, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Liverpool five, Southampton nil, which thinking about it now, as I said, maybe a bit too high. New manager coming in, he'll want to tighten up that defence. That's probably the first job that you've got to you've got to look at, the amount of goals that they are conceding currently. But at Anfield, Liverpool, they just picked up a 2-1 victory against Tottenham in their last game. Mo Salah, on the score sheet twice, maybe he could be returning back to his old form. So, yeah, I just think Liverpool will be able to show their quality in this game and, and finally pick up you know, a nice, comfortable victory. Uh, they managed to do it against Bournemouth, so you know maybe they can do it against Southampton as well. We'll move on to Nottingham Forest against Crystal Palace now. Nottingham Forest, as I did mention above, picked up a 2-2 draw against Brentford, where there were four penalty shouts. All three penalty shots for Nottingham Forest not given. And then the one cheap one for Brentford was given. Um, yeah. The last minute equaliser did make up for it though in, in that 2-2 draw. Coming up against Crystal Palace side who did beat two, uh, who did beat West Ham United 2-1 away from home. Away from home again. I do think Nottingham Forest will score the return at the city ground. But I'm going to go for Crystal Palace to pick up an all three points and make it three on the bounce now for Patrick Vieira's Crystal Palace. So I'm going to say a 2-1 victory to Palace in this one. And then we'll move on to Tottenham against Leeds United. Leeds United, after their losing streak, picked up a couple of wins, some, some good wins as well. High scorers, as I mentioned above, beating Bournemouth 4-3 in their last game. Coming up against the Tottenham side, 
who's a bit 50-50 at the moment. I mean, lost to Liverpool 2-1. Game of two halves, really. Liverpool were the, the better side in the first half. Tottenham were the better side in the second half. Liverpool managed to score two goals in their half. Tottenham only managed the one. But they did come close multiple occasions. Feel like they could have had a penalty in that one. Hit the bar a couple of times. I think they'll pick up all three points here. There has to be a reaction from Tottenham. And I'm going to just go for a narrow 1-0 victory, which, you know, is hard to hard to believe after Leeds just picked up a 4-3 um, win. Uh, but it, it can change just, just suddenly, just on whoever your opponents are. So, yeah, I'm going to go from a very high-scoring, excited game to a very low-scoring and just a narrow victory in this one. So, yeah, 1-0 Tottenham. And then next up, West Ham United against Leicester City. Leicester City's form... I think maybe we can safely say has turned around since the start of the season. They see themselves in 14th place coming up against West Ham side that is in 15th place as well. Of course, both teams picking up the same amount of wins and losses and draws so far this season. Just Leicester City are above them on goal difference. Yeah, it'll be a tight one this one. I am going to back both sides to score, but I'm going to back an away victory for Leicester City in this one. As I said, Leicester City looking good. They've improved defensively, although I do think that they will leak a goal, though. Um, also, the scoring the goals, as I keep on mentioning, goals for Leicester was never a problem. It was just about conceding them. So, yeah, I think I think they're back, and I'm going to go for an away victory to, uh, to Leicester in this one. And then next up, we've got a good one. Newcastle United against Chelsea at St. James's Park, where Chelsea currently in seventh place outside the top four. And, well... After the defeat to Arsenal, the 1-0 defeat to Arsenal in their last game, they want a reaction against the Newcastle side currently in third place that have only picked up the one defeat so far this season, especially at home as well. I think it'll be a very tough game. I'm going to go for a point apiece, both sides to score in a 1-1 draw. Newcastle, of course, beat Southampton 4-1 in their last game. Scoring quite a lot of goals. If we just have a look as well in the past, other performances of scoring four against Villa, two against Tottenham, and yeah, the narrow 1 0 victory against Everton there. But Newcastle definitely scoring a ton of goals this season. I do think, though, against the Chelsea side, it will be a bit tougher, but we'll go for the point of peace for this one. Next up, Wolverhampton Wanderers against Arsenal. Wolves just being Wolves, really. Um, Conceding goals, not scoring that many. Yeah, I don't know what else to say to Wolves. They're not going to score. They're going to lose this one. 2 0 away victory to Arsenal. Um, yeah, good victory uh, for Arsenal in their last game. The 1 0 victory over Chelsea in that London derby. And I think they'll be able to pick up another away win here and, well, keep themselves at the top of the table. And then we'll just finish off now with the final two games. We've got Brighton against Aston Villa, where, this is where I can mention, the new Aston Villa, maybe, maybe not, of course, their new manager Unai Emery coming in last week for his first game in charge against Manchester United, ended up in a 3-1 victory to Villa, first victory for Villa against Man United at Villa Park since 1998, I do believe, and, well, of course, it was the new manager bounce. And it's a weird one, the new manager bounce. And there's just something that I don't... Re- I, the Half of it I get and half of it I don't get because obviously new manager coming in, your opposition doesn't have a clue on what that manager's new tactics or formation is going to be. But then for the other half, he only had a week to prepare his Aston Villa side. So it's not like he could suddenly put all his tactics into play from the get-go. I mean, sure, it has to slowly work into it. So he surely has to just go back to the basics, defaults. I think he went for a 4-4-2 formation against Manchester United. Um, whether or not it's going to change up against Brighton, I don't know. But it's always going to be a difficult one when a new manager comes in. If Unai Emery wasn't in charge of Villa at this moment, that would go a, a, a victory for Brighton here. They've had some some really good past few games, picked up a, a victory in their last game, 3-2 um, over Wolverhampton Wanderers. But just at the moment where you've got all the excitement around Villa, 
unfortunately for Brighton, I think they're going to lose this game. And I still think that this one's going to be a high score. I'm going to go Brighton 2, Aston Villa 3. Going to go for a big scoreline. Villa to score three goals once again. Um, yeah, I, I, I still do think that they'll leak some goals. But hopefully it'll be a good attacking game of football here. Um, and yeah, we'll just wait and see how long uh, Unai Emery can, can go on you know, an undefeated streak. And then we'll finish off with Fulham against Man United. Uh, not a clue what to predict with this one. Man United could lose at any time. They could pick up a narrow victory. Same really with Fulham, their last game. As, as I mentioned at the start, almost coming back to London with a point against Manchester City, apart from their, their late penalty that they did get. Yeah, it was a good performance by Fulham to, to keep City, you know, away for, for all that length of time but of course City find their ways in the end but at home I'm going to back them to score I'm going to back Man United to score I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw here to finish off my predictions for week 16 if you did enjoy please do leave a like subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in my next video bye